El juego de silueta. So this is a silhouette game. I've taken some paper, different colors, and I have traced around some items that are around my house. So all I do is I hide the items in a magic bag. Again, it could be a pocket, it could be under a blanket, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Um, and you, it's, the children need to try and secure the items on their list by calling out yo, because the answer to, that's the answer to the question. So the question is, quien tiene, who has, and you hold it out. And then when they say, oh, I've got that thing, and they <coughs> place it on their mat, then you can ask, que es? What is it? So we've got quien tiene, who has, and que es, what is it? So, for example, I might go, quien tiene cepillo de dientes? And this person goes, yo! And then they place it on the top, and they go, ka-ching, ka-ching, I've got it. And I say, que es? And they say, cepillo de dientes. Quien tiene cuchillo? And this person goes, yo! <laughs> and they put the cuchillo on top. So it's all about matching, it's really good for kids' brains, it's another kind of puzzle where they're actually looking at, especially getting spatial awareness, they're looking at where things are, what fits into what, occasionally they make a mistake and they go, I've got it, I've got it, and then they go, okay, then put it on, and the parents go, no, we don't, and I go, don't worry about it, they're going to figure it out, and then they go, oh, no, I don't have that one, and then they pass it on to somebody else, and no feelings get hurt, everyone's feeling good. Um, so this is a really easy game that you can play at home, you just honestly just get a piece of paper, Grab a marker, grab some things around and trace around them. Again, it could be anything. It could be animals, it could be hairbrushes, it could be something that your kids are into. But when I was talking to some um, four-year-old children about what they might use, I said choose things that have got a distinct shape. So just choosing things that are that have got a circle or a rectangle form can be really difficult, but also could provide a good level of challenge. Um, so yeah, like this one, for example. But this was a cup. We just had one round thing in the group. So then the kids were like, ah, basso, basso. So they got that it was a cup. Um, so there's another activity that you can try at home, um, and it's really easy, and, and get the kids involved, get the kids to trace around it, because it's actually kind of fun. Ciao! Listos! ¿Quién tiene esta forma? ¡Yo! ¡Oh! ¡Yo! A ver. Yo gané. A ver, ¿dónde van? Ah. Oh, es muy grande. ¿Quién tiene esta forma? Yo creo que otra persona la tiene. A ver si, si Benji la tiene. A ver, ¿la puede pasar a Benji? Eso. ¡Ey! ¿Y qué es Benji? Cuchara grande. Cuchara grande, muy bien. A ver. ¿Quién tiene esta forma? ¡Yo! ¿Y dónde va? I have that one. Ah, igual. Eso. ¿Y qué es? ¿Qué es esto? Brush. Es un cepillo. Cepillo. Eso.